go oh hey everyone and welcome aboard i'll be your captain hillian tonight along with i is a mighty drakir at your service and welcome again welcome again to dave the diver uh, well i said i might do an extra stream and well here is an extra stream and yeah <laughs> why no particular reason 
uh, maybe because I'll be do having a uh, maybe because I'll be having a job interview tomorrow. So yeah, when I get a job, it's likely that I'll have less time for streaming. But we'll see about that. And hello there, Marco. Yeah. You doing well today? Hello, Marco. And I actually have something tomorrow as well in the afternoon. Oh. Dentist. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. <laughs> now then, let's do our usual stuff of uh, cleaning up around here, checking on, bleh, checking on these, and of course the little uh, digital uh, jackass wants attention as well. Let's put some onions in. Okay, last time we finally got access to the glacial area because we now have a, a cold resistance suit. There. Okay, at least we can do that during you know, the animation. Okay, just a bit of a perfection. I'm guessing you can get different results here depending on how well you treat them or how you treat the fish like if you I'm guessing if you leave them sick and don't clean up, clean up they'll be like, don't clean up they'll die eventually but I'm thinking just the amount of food and training that they get and uh, hunger affection and training those are probably going to be the things that actually do anything so I'm presuming depending on how far the bars are filled during each stage it can grow into something different. That is just my presumptions, though. I'm not really interested in looking up uh, things about it. And uh, yeah, high growth thermal vents. This area has been sort of spoiled for us. And yeah, looks like we've got three more bosses to face here, including <laughs> Buzzsaw Jaw here. Hey, before uh, go back, I think I can identify them. Okay, first one. Possibly Helicoprion. Ah, uh, sure. Next one? Good. Next one? Oh dear. That's, that that, that just looks like a dinosaur. A, that might be a Mosasaurus, which was found first in the Netherlands. Uh, or a Basilosaurus. Are you eating because it sounds like you're talking with your mouth full? I actually am. Anyways. Uh, Marco, first day of computer technician high school was so unexciting I almost fell asleep. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. And the last one, which we have seen on some runestone, oh, not runestone, like King Corbin's, Anomala Karras, I think was pronounced. Abnormal mm -hmm. Shrimp. It was the first, so far, first confirmed apex predator. Okay. Let's see. The grenade launcher has more damage than the rifle and more range but it has a few less it has a few less uh, clips of course it doesn't really compare to the level two here still let's take a quick look let's see 42 hmm okay I I'm not going to upgrade that because we need to save up on fragments And let's see. Yeah, we're going to need to. We're going to need to open up some rows on that. For now, let's head to the fish farm to check up. Do I think we already checked here? Yeah, since it's afternoon. I typically check these well, in the morning. The only thing that's really causing a difference in that is that the the crops seem to be growing at different rates. Yeah, and. Ooh. Is it the festival today? Uh, yeah, it is. it is. It's Shark Day today. It's two worm. Let's me swap this one out to. Let's see. I'll take that one. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we have on our to-do list? Explore the glacial area. Take a look around. Who's VIP food? Then we've got all of that. We need to kill some spider crabs. We can turn this one in. So, yeah, let's see. Do you have anything to sell to us? 
I'll take a box just to get a little bit more. Let's see for Marco. Anyway, I'm gonna go sleep since I have to wake up at five for the bus. Hope you have a nice stream. See ya. Good okay. up, Marco. Yeah, see you next time and good luck with school. Yeah, good luck. Watch out for, watch out for bus gremlins. Okay. Uh, is it the board that we turned that in? Uh, yeah, there we go. Bit of money. Uh, we've cleared all of these. It's just that we need to get rid of two more spider crabs. I guess we could go out the front instead of heading through the glacial area and just look for two. But I'd rather be I'd rather do a bit more than just go look for two crabs. Okay. Yep. There. Okay. Now you, Agar, Kahime, Kelp, and seaweeds. There we go. I should probably leave the first row fallow for a bit. To <clears throat> so that, uh, actually, yeah. So that the, uh, I can line them all up. So I don't, I don't get need to, when I, they're, so they're all ready at the same time. So I don't have to visit every day. And I can just plan out a visit every three or four or so, however long it takes for them to grow. Right, thanks. Uh, thanks. I should probably do the same with the the topside farm. Okay. Poor beagle shark. Grows up to six meters, average length is three. Okay. Is that so? A weird name. It sounds like like people can easily mishear or missay poor beagle shark. Mm. Going to grab a, a few of these along the way. Yeah, we are no. Hmm. We're going to need something to upgrade the harpoon gun again, even though it's at its max level. I'm guessing we'll get something about that later. Okay, that's still stuck there. Okay. Hopefully uh, for the rest of the game. Hello, what is... Oh, it's a narwhal. Okay. Okay, this is this weird for... They are very shy creatures. Like, they will avoid humans. Apparently not these ones. Ooh, that was barely a miss. Careful of this task. Yes, that's a task. Not a horn. Yep. Well, that's going to make this a really short trip. <laughs> Unless there's air nearby. I'm not seeing any. Which one is illegal? Normal. Okay, yeah. We are definitely going to need to upgrade the weapons a lot. Okay. If we have to deceive people... Really? I'm, I'm guessing it won't get refilled. Yep. Actually, it will. Okay, th that's, a ni that's a neat little trick. <laughs> okay. So, as long as we can get back to the sea people village... We can basically refill our oxygen, or y yes, it did not jump back. Okay, that, that's a that's a neat little cheat. <laughs> All what right. The heck? And uh, wait, are those going to swarm? Hmm. No, they're not hostile. Okay, well, Capelin. Can't say I've heard of that species. Yep. Yeah, I haven't heard of them either. No, have I heard of snailfish? Good target for net guns, though. 
I really should... Yeah, I really should just bring in the nap gun again for some of this, to just get a few live samples for, well, breeding probably, and such. Probably a good idea, boss. No, you don't, you blue-blooded bastards. It's not to you speak to royalty. <laughs> yes. Wait, okay, if it has it's... blue blood, doesn't it mean it's rich in cobalt? I'm not sure why they have blue blood. I, typically, blood is red because of iron in it. So I yeah, don't really I'm... know what uh, component would make it blue. Yes, I have heard blue blood would mean cobalt. I heard that. So... Apparently, people spoke about Renai's and someone has mentioned that the blood is due to cobalt. Okay. Oh, hello. This is new. Thinking about uh, Sen on the Wikipedia? Hmm? A door? And there's a stone slab with text in front of the door. I should take a picture of it and ask Dr. Bacon to decipher. Uh, Alright. Green blood is copper. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that, that's basically by but ends from ends from me. <laughs> yeah, things do. Uh, copper stuff does tend to turn green green when it oxidizes, and the whole thing about blood is moving about oxygen. This picture is good enough. Let me go up and show it to Doctor Bacon. Okay, so that's all that was needed for that. Okay. I'm just going to I keep realized. exploring. Hmm? Is Bacon his first or last name? I'm presuming the last name. His first name Kevin? <laughs> I think we've done that joke before. Have we? Damn it. And also, who is Kevin Bacon? Not a clue. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of jokes about him, but I have no idea who Kevin Bacon is. This probably means I won't sure if I should make jokes about Kevin Bacon, but I don't even know who it is. Who? Shark? Uh, wait, is that a Greenland shark? That it might be. be. Well, uh, should and is are different things. Wait, that's not a Greenland shark, but it would be way slower. Let's poke it in the tail. Ow. Okay, get it to charge. Boop the snoots. Yeah. Boop the snoot. Yeah. Come on, trying to lure out its attacks. Oh no, no, it's not a random 40k fact. No. Squeak shark. Okay. Yes, there are uh, water squeaks that looks like shark. Uh, oh. I, I wanted to use... drone the drone. <laughs> no, I, I wanted to use the net gun, but I forgot to swap over. And oh, that was a yeah, that was a poor beagle. Okay. That'll make a Nice exotic snack for tonight. Poor big thing. It sounds like they are trying to pity it or something. Like, poor beagle. Oh, poor beagle. Like, who the heck named it? Alright, I forgot. With the fire one, it's a QTE. A combination QTE. Okay. Oh, hello, you're hurt enough to catch. Or just accidentally kill, okay. I might dump that up one yeah, I might dump that one out. Let's see. Oop. There we go, that was a good shot. 
like was about six fish or so two three four yeah about yeah five yeah, damn it Go another batch. Yeah, the, the net gun is probably the best way to get live samples for uh, breeding pairs in the fish farm. Uh, at least we be the better odds for that to happen. Um, going to avoid the narwhal. We're we were approaching the maximum depth, anyways. Oh, uh, uh, the heck are green line shark. That has to be green line shark. It is way should be way too slow to attack you. Well, it's hostile all the same, so let's not go that way. Okay. Wrap that. I never heard anyone can attack the green line shark. Uh, probably not at intentionally at the absolute least. Let's see. But it ate almost anything, but more of uh, he, ha he has eaten an, a dead elk? But what's because it was already dead and floating? It probably okay. somehow floated in this path and just go open it up for the door. Dead slow. Okay, I should probably not aim at the lead fish with groups and try more to hit something in the middle. I think people are called Greenland shark the sloth of the sea? Or sloth of the shark? Or something? Uh, could be. Yeah, I'm not getting too lucky with these shots. It's just a single one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything over on this side that's worth some interest? Actually, let me go grab this. We're also finding new ingredients. Black coral. Okay. Okay, did not expect to find... Every space is over like ice cold and such, but black horror? Okay. Oop, perfect. Yep. Almost have three. There we go. And now we are overloaded, but we are close to the not the surface, but to the roof of this area. Uh, poison rifle, might as well. And yeah, we really need to upgrade the knife to start farming these uh, <clears throat> these new uh, mineral no nodes. Actually, set this thing down, and let's see, five kilos. Seven and, a, seven and a half kilos of octopus. Okay, two. Uh, and three. Okay. There's still a little bit over, but oh well. <clears throat> but yeah, at, at the absolute least, we learned here that we can sort of cheese it as long as we can retreat back to the village. Oh yeah. Oh, my head. Hmm? I, I had it started to sneak out, so I just took some painkillers right away. Okay, what I guess you need a better sandwich? security system. Uh, wait, what? If it snuck in on you or snuck up on you, you need to <laughs> you need to keep a better watch out. How the heck do you have a security system against a headache? It's a joke because of your wording. There we go. I'd oh, say that the electric watch out! The mosquito on your forehead! 
All right. Let's head out. Okay. Yep, yep party time. Yep. And bacon time. Fancy fireworks. Dr. Bacon, could you take a look at this picture? Oh, an ancient stone slab of the sea people. But it's very old and poorly weathered. No matter, should be enough to run the decoding equipment with. Can you hold that picture for a moment? Oh, hello. This is new. Uh, so we just run it across. Oh, I see. We need to remove the fog of war of sorts on it. Okay, it, uh, this game just keeps coming up with little mini games to just uh, freshen things up a bit every hit now and then, huh? Yeah, and they do it really pretty good, I say. No. I would say the mini games on the phone in this game is a rather. Eh. Uh, but yeah. I do have some interesting mini games. There we go. I'm guessing we're sort of Rosetta stoning this thing by reading out what we can read on it and then filling in blanks with uh, other texts or other deciphered texts. Good, I can read them. How lucky. Oh, what a relief. What does it read? It seems to be some sort of spell. The letters are unfamiliar to me, so it's hard to decipher them clearly. Why don't you ask the sea people? There must be someone who has knowledge of cryptograph uh, cryptography or spells. Okay, well, if there's uh, mythical sea people living under the sea for who knows how long, then magic might not be that much of a leap. An ancient spell that do even Dr. Bacon can't decipher? Hmm. I remember seeing many books in the Sea People Temple. Yamo might be of help. Okay. Next step. At first. New depth maximum. And... Narwhal's offspring? Oh, oh yeah, they... They... More narwhals are like a sort of seal, so they wouldn't lay <laughs> eggs. Narwhals are whales! Yeah, so calves. Uh, Not seals. <laughs> Alright. Little thing wants attention again. I actually know it wants the lights off. Okay. Over to this. <clears throat> over to Boncho. And did we feed the cat? I think we fed the cat last time. Let's have a look. I think the, the cats cat are bailed. Escaped. Yeah. Understandably, with all the fireworks, the poor things. Let's see. These are our most expensive, so we put these to the max. Then we have fried tomato and snail fish. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that, that can get pretty pricey, but it's not shark stuff. So I will. I will en enhance it, because I will not grow tired of these animations. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Thresher Shark Sushi. Let's upgrade that again and serve the two that are left. Then we have Mega Mouth. Let's also put Max on those. Uh, let's see. Oh, don't forget Klaus. Yeah, uh, actually, yeah. Uh, research. Didn't we? Let's see. Okay, we already researched it. Is it not showing up here for some reason? Or is it not showing up as... Let me 
go check down below. It, maybe I put something away that's a required ingredient for it. Uh, no, we have... Hmm. White shark yeah, omelet. Uh, oh, oh. We don't have enough eggs for that. Okay. Are we going to check? Do you think there's a chance for us to go and check if we have any great eggs? No, we don't have enough. We need two more. And I, I don't think... No, we didn't put anything... Okay, we might... Maybe we used something yesterday that used grade A eggs. But, but oh well then. we have more eggs today? Like, have no, you visited we, the farm for eggs? Yes, we get those... I, we checked them at the start of the day. Oh, damn it. Uh, oh well. Damn Oops. it. The one thing that could have earned us a little money and we failed to have the eggs. Well, I'd say these things that go for almost 400 gold is also just a good thing to have. And let's see, last but not least, poor beagle. There we go. It probably would have been better for me to keep some of these 200s out so that only the 300 plus uh, dishes would be grabbed, but oh well. I, I have no idea how many people might come. So I'm just going to, well, go overkill with it. It may hurt future profits, but oh well. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can turn that in. Eco waterproof bag, yeah. Um, okay, next time that we go down, first off, we're going to upgrade the diving knife, so it'll be so it'll do more damage and be able to uh, harvest minerals, and we'll take that. Uh, that eco gem necklace as well so we'll get extra drops from those now then let's see hmm. i'm thinking we replace james at some point with someone who has other cooking skills because we know that we can get more from drinks uh, let me check you just have cooking plus you have cooking and prep. Yeah, all of you have cooking and prep stuff. Hmm. I think... Yeah. We're going to do a new ad. And we're going to look for someone who does... You know, who doesn't re Who has good cooking, but also good cooking skills. Not just the prep master and cooking plus stuff, but the other things that uh, add more value to drinks and such. Also, we're going to take like drink master maker here. Uh, no, not dismiss details. Yeah, you can sell beverages at a higher price. We need that. Or we can actually we could really use that. Technically, we could swap Raul back in. Uh, I doubt the cleaning. I doubt it would cost that much. It, it. I doubt it would cost us that much in the preparing. But I'd rather play it safe. Yeah. Also, if I, I look things up a bit, and I'm not entirely sure on it, but apparently appeal affects uh, how much uh, how much someone gets uh, can get a tip uh, can get tipped from customers. Okay. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to swap you two. It's minus 100-ish cooking. But if we look at this now, yeah, plus 10 on both green tea and beer, which on the beer is a lot less of a bonus. Still, it's a third plus, but with the green tea, it's literally a thousand percent increase. So for now, I think we'll keep Raul there. And to make up a little bit, we are going to... Yeah, we're going to spend most of what we have left to upgrade Maki another time. There we go. And honestly, I don't think we'll be removing her at any time soon. Yeah, it would be pretty wrong to do that. After all, she's been through. Yeah. 
Okay, like, for now... Bad. She stays. That's the end of it. She stays. She's part yeah. of the family. <laughs> Let me take a look at the menu. Hmm. Actually, I probably... I should try to focus down one of these to or one of these ingredients, the seasonings, or to just upgrade one of our best recipes to strengthen that. That is probably going to be the way that we will get platinum ranking. Uh, let's see, all of those are special except for the parrot fish there. Uh Cleonis, no. Mar early Marlin and Sebring. Let's see, three six tuna. Sweet and sour stargazer. Okay, olive oil maybe then. For 390. Wolf eel, no, no. We don't have anything that uses this yet, the black pepper. Or the, the curry powder. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to send everyone out to get olive oil. And hopefully they won't ra run into any trouble with uh, Popeye. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Shall I explain okay. the joke? Yeah, you have to explain that one, please. <laughs> because olive oil is the name of uh, Popeye's girlfriend. What? Yeah, <laughs> you can Google it up. It, it's not. I don't think it is spelled the same way, but it is said basically the same way. I used to realize I don't know her name in Swedish. <laughs> okay, we've got some new stuff unlocked. Uh, yeah, I never really liked Popeye as a kid. No. Oh. Yeah, I, I think I found, I found him annoying to listen to. <laughs> okay. You are just the uh, the eternal uh, contrarian but with what everyone else seems to find popular or found popular in the day. Well... I didn't see many cartoons with him. But he seemed to be already replaced by other cartoons at that time. Okay. Yeah, it, it could also just be the uh, voice acting and such, because a lot of dubbing... You know, dubbing is generally considered pretty good, I believe. Like, I know the Dutch dubbing of the 90s was considered pretty good, or at least in my opinion. Uh, but in other countries, uh, yeah, it could, of course, gone a lot worse than that. Yeah. So now, we're ready for Shark Week. I think this was like the first part by... Was or decent? Mm -hmm. we don't, I think we had several. Like there was one was alright, but then there was one that was <laughs> doing a little bit too much. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think Papa was really the cartoons I watched as a kid. Just going to I keep do know I did like Johnny Quest. Yeah, Johnny Quest was and... pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, Scooby Doo. Yeah, that that franchise is just utterly immortal. Why was someone mad there? Was someone mad because they found a dirty seat or something? Okay, I'm just going to stick in the middle here. Mostly for something to clean. Okay, a lot of traffic today up there. Just because Mino or oh, Errol Mino can do these as well doesn't mean that we're going to leave all of them to him. Since he can do better just by serving. So, again, we are pretty much uh, not needed with this anymore, but we can still land a hand here and there. 55. Um, okay. I'm guessing... Yeah. The beer itself is 40. So I'm guessing the extra 15 comes from El Nino's... Uh, 35 people. Comes from his uh, appeal. At 
Okay, one person had a bad uh, experience for some reason. And yeah, a good amount of profit, 12k. I think we could have got the more. Yeah, you know, if we had Klaus's uh, recipe, but oh well. Yeah, and we I mean, had not failed the first day in such embarrassing manner, like tripping before you reach the finish line. Yeah. Uh, uh, hello uh, there, a wonderful Monday. Thanks to your help, we were able to get a special in the magazine we issued, we issued today. <laughs> Please go with the big. Uh, please keep up the good work. I'll be back on Saturday. Okay. The discovery of Wizard Barrel Jellyfish has increased magazine sales. Udo has sent you a monetary reward. Okay. A thousand isn't too much to us anymore, but it is still nice to have. Yeah. And crops are ready for harvest. Yeah. Let's do our daily chores. Eat the cats. <laughs> just that low mew is just adorable as well, huh? Just, just kittens in general are adorable. Yeah. But baby animals in general are adorable. Yeah. Even baby parrots in a weird way. Alright. I feel like Hina has never seen a baby parrot. Uh, I think I've seen baby birds who are, well, bald and as ugly as sin. <laughs> yeah, baby parrots are kind of infamous being apparently by people the ugliest baby birds. And apparently weeds overgrew one of our you know, items, but oh well. Uh, let's see. I'm going to upgrade the diving knife. It's, you can gather material from the glacial area if you enhance it. Okay. Okay, then Wait, that is that... nice to just tell us right away about that, oh. so we don't have oh, to Oh, and guess. it's already at the max, okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. I think it also said something about how many things you can get from it. So if if we get more just from the knife being maxed out and from the uh, accessory, now that'll be something. And yeah, we lost one uh. thing. The weeds somehow. I feel, I feel proud, but also pissed. I think it, mm. oh, I think, I can't if it only did not fail at first time. Yeah, and we had a really good haul as well. Okay. Yeah, I feel like if we had not failed that, we would have way more money now. But yeah, we're not gonna. Sh Save scum for that, and it's but probably too late. And we to wouldn't save be able to now, anyways. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Too late anyway. If we, we lose too much progress. Okay. I think with. Um, uh, <clears throat> holy. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to not upgrade things much anymore. Past uh, or with the equipment at the moment, and I'm just. I'm going to focus the next cash that we get into getting <clears throat> into getting more chickens so that uh, we have more than plenty so we have as many eggs as we can incoming every day uh, um, here you go. Mm. sharks a lot of sharks let's see one two three four five <laughs> six seven <laughs> is this uh, sharks we forgot to check on before we open the kitchen now we'd already checked, otherwise there would have been exclamation points above the uh, the tanks here. Oh. Let's see. Seven, seven of these just on their own. Okay. Wait, exclamation mark if we already checked? Yeah, if we hadn't checked. Oh, okay. Wait, that means you we already knew we had that many sharks. Uh, wrong stick I'm using. That means we checked and forgot. Now we got a bunch of them from the breeding and from the row that we brought in. Uh, I mean, we forgot to send them to the kitchen. I think we did send them uh, to the kitchen. Oh, all right. Yeah. 
Okay, we still need to get more tuna and eels or rays, actually. Let's see. Mm, keep those. That's a low. That's a lot of Emperor Angel Fish. Let's see. I'm sort of hoping that if a two star and three star fish breed, that they can make a new third star. But I'm thinking it's more that they'll just make more two stars. But oh well. Let's see. Bunch of comb jellies. Uh, are the sharks alright? Yeah, they're going a bit slow. They're going a bit weird. It's like they. It's like they crawl over the floor, like. Well, they are. They are massive. Let's see, Articuin Hines. And then down to the there. Okay. Yeah, we can send one of these to the slaughter. Oh, I just realized something. I'm kind of sad now we don't have on the sound file here. And that be? Chainsaw sound, or just saw sound in general. Oh. Then we know you attacked by a stop to shock. We just play the chainsaw. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We can upgrade this one again. Just to have extra room for them to breathe. I don't want to do it. I'd be surprised if this you can get the cheetah tweets for Discord. Okay. Yes, what? people, cheetahs tweets. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they can't roar, they can't meow, but they can tweet. As in, they sound like birds. Alright, they. Yeah, cheetah chirps. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Now, just short from upgrading that. But I will. I think Hina can guess who I learned that from. <laughs> uh, casual Geographics, I believe they were called. Correct. Yeah. I haven't watched their vids in a bit, but that's because I, I kind of uh, binged them for a, a bit. And yeah, at, at a certain point, you just get a bit... Uh, Annoyed with yeah. too much of it. Yeah, I, I, I binge him in small doses. Like, I make him, let him make a few videos, I watch some, then I need to take a break. It's eco poison resist, eco health. And also, there some, it is. something else on YouTube recently that I think is a good thing. Oh? Captain Sauce might be turning active again. Yep. He's released two new videos within this week, uh, or last week. Yep, he's been busy. Let's see, no net and things. So, no tuna fishing. I will take that, and I will take that. And then we head to the village. I feel a bit disappointed, Cobra. No. He has an awesome name, he looks awesome. But, he has a banana shirt. Oh, new seaweed seeds available. And grown crops. Okay, also, we should probably just get <laughs> some dumplings. Uh, let's see, there, there is really no... There's really no reason to go for any of these when you can go for these. Let's see. Uh, don't... Mm. You would probably go for those up there if you're a bit short on money. I guess. But it's easy enough to get. But yeah. always good to have options for if you do somehow manage to gamble away all your money. Okay, a bit more speed. Yes. All right, then we just go check in here. I'm guess, yeah, I'm guessing we got this. I'm guessing this happened because we found new stuff. 
I'm glad to see. <clears throat> I'm glad that you cleared the path to the glacial area. I was able to get some seaweed seeds. <laughs> Check these out too. You can call cultivate them at Gumo's farm. Yeah, black coral, southern bull, and buck bean. I don't think we found buck bean. Okay. Let's see. Buy a few of those. Buy a few of those. And a few of those. Let's see. Yeah. Four of all of them. That'll do for now. Okay. That'll help with getting the new ingredients. Since we're going to be short on those no matter what. Alright. Hmm. We should, should we should make a bit of no I should make a bit of a note of the things that we need for the for the highest tier of weapons that we can make at the moment and what materials we need to make the parts that we need since we need to make we need to make those at the workshop yeah and yes, re yes I know what you need in real life now mm -hmm. a great book of notes huh Swam, what are you doing here? Are you reading a book? <laughs> are you surprised? My keen analytic abilities come from the books I read. Oh, long time no see, human. I was sorting books. How can I help you? Can you take a look at this picture? It looks like an ancient spell, but I can't understand what it means. I'm guessing it, it might read, He who reads this is stupid. I can roughly understand it. Where was this st stone slab located? In front of a large closed door in the glacial area. I see. According to the book, there are three large doors in the glacial area. And inside those doors is a switch that will lead to the Divine Tree control room. I did an analysis and found that the earthquakes are caused by the Divine Tree control room. Activate all the switches and you will be able to access the Divine Tree control room. That's not going to be easy. How am I supposed to open the big door? I have materials referring to the door. Let me see. Here it is. You need to cast a spell to open the door. Um, but I don't speak the language of the sea people. No, of course not. Then... Why don't you bring Swam with you then? Uh, Swam, you say? Human, you can do nothing without me. <laughs> but it looks like you're in trouble. I'll give you a hand this time. Uh, I'm not sure about this. Best of luck to you, Swam. May King Long's protection be with you. Stop worrying about me. Just lead the way, human. Yeah, I think one of the reasons why they always call its full name, like Divine Trees, this and that, is because I believe in Korea, and it is often just said full length like that instead of shortened with shorthand. Hmm. Okay, note to self, refill my water, after stream. Hmm, this must be the door. Well, I am supposed to cast the spell yeah, Nyamo taught me. Watch and learn, human. Watch and learn. <laughs> watch and see. It's, watch him turn himself into a. <laughs> into a sea bunny or something. It, uh, did not need to do the last one. <laughs> Wow, the door really opened! I am I am impressed, Swan. <laughs> now you realize my greatness. You said it was a spell, and you had to dance as well to open it? No, oh, that is... Uh, I needed to dance to keep with the beat. <laughs> Got it. So we get inside and check out the place, Swan. <sighs> my waist hurts from the dance. <laughs> Unfortunately, you will have to go alone today, human. <laughs> Timing. Okay, why do I get the feeling there's going to be a fight in here since Walt well, is right outside it? Okay. New region? It didn't say anything about a boss fight, so maybe there's not. <coughs> it must be a switch to operate the Divine Tree control room inside. My gut feeling is this passage will cause me trouble, but I have no other choice. I need to be careful. Okay. New mechanism? A piece of strange rotating equipment is blocking my way. 
I think I can start by myself. Okay. What is this going to do? Nope. Oh. Activate traps, that is. Though the equipment is working and the stake began moving. <laughs> Must avoid them. Wait. Hmm? Wooden stakes. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing they're hardwood or something. Yeah, they were probably molded and rusted or something over the years they've been down here. Wood, wood rusting? Okay, uh, that's a new one. Rotting? I was to say rotting, is it rusting? Yep. Oh, bloody, that, that's my brain derving out. What is this? Okay, a giant pachinko machine? <laughs> Passage down there is blocked by ice. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> it is basically a giant pachinko of sorts. I should do something with this rotating equipment. Wait, what the heck is pachinko? It's a sort of ball game machine. Uh, let's see. Where basically you drop a ball at certain points with where where it will uh, go down. Uh, a field or a slanted field or area just filled with little pins for it to bounce around off of. And yeah, the. <clears throat> and the goal is to try and get it into. You know, once it hits the bottom, it'll drop into certain areas which give points. And of course, the goal is to get as many points as you can get. Okay, so similar to uh, pinball? Sort of, but you're not supposed to keep it uh, up in the uh, on the playing field for forever, which is or for as long as possible, which is the goal with pinball. Okay, then I have played some cheap audience actions, like, uh, you know, the cheap board games thing you could buy kids at times with cardboard or plastic. Uh, I think there was a few of those for, for this. I, just, yeah. I think we just thought they were ping pong. Yeah. Uh, in Super Mario Sunshine, there's one level uh, where you just have to go down a giant board. That is a pachinko board, I believe. Uh, though oh, completely okay. horizontal and not completely vertical. Good, the ice is broken. Time to go on down. Go well down there, you it. broke the ice. Okay. Oh, hello. Yep. Okay, we still got two instead of just one. Arctic card. And there's the tree too. Like, I know there's a divine tree under the sea. But I thought they used that to make the stakes. Like, I feel like they had, could use an odd material to make some deadly stakes. Okay, these turned hostile once they, they took notice. Arctic telescope fish. Okay. Wait, what? Telescope fish? Yep. Almost had two. I gotta grab some water. So don't die. Or get eaten. Okay, you I'll try. If you get eaten. Hmm? I'll try. Good. There we go. Yeah, I really should take this net gun back to the lower, uh, to the more shallow areas. There we go. Aquamarine, okay. And that's an eco watcher task then. That and one of the space marines? No, aquamarines. Alright. Oh, hmm. Another room? This is a statue of King Long, but it looks somewhat strange. Hmm. I suppose it's slightly different from that of King Long depicted in a mural. Maybe that means. Yep, we have an automaton to control. 
let's see, we need to turn the neck and both arms somewhat. Okay. A bit more. There, that should be okay. This is going to turn the heads. Okay, I thought it was going to turn the other way. Okay. Hmm. I'm curious if we will if we will encounter this King Long at some point or another. And I get the feeling he's not going to be as heroic as he's been depicted everywhere, or at least not as buff. There we go, close enough. Oh, that's and that's a switch. Could be he actually is pop, and just people remember, yeah, he liked to work out a little bit too much. Okay, that must be the geothermal area. Where the cold is not going to be much of a problem anymore, I presume. Wow, is this really the ancient sea people's technology? Impressive. I heard some noises from afar. That must be the first contraption Niamo told me about. Okay. Uh, hello. Are we going to have to fight a statue? Because we're not really equipped for that. Uh, yep. Or he's just going to pop open. Yep. <laughs> and fire his brain laser. His fish brain laser. Okay, I'll take it. The path up is now open. Let me return to the village and tell Tenzin about this. And I am hungry. Uh, we're still going to catch some fish before then, though. Okay. Oh, yeah. Our next goal is to activate all three of these contraptions. I'm guessing we're going to need the help of someone else different each time to get the spell to, well, open it up. Okay. There and there. I'll take you. I'll take you too. Oh, Antarctic. Okay. We got a venom sack. And yeah, I guess that does prove that catching them alive does give a lot better chance of getting the materials. So I guess next time we go into the shallows, we bring the we yeah, we bring the the stun gun. Also, I might as well deploy this thing now and make some room. Cards, cards, there. Okay. Now, what else can we find? Another shark out. Okay, at least we're in the quote unquote shallows. Wait. That's not going to work. I think that's a member of the Beatles. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is another war. Okay, send you off. Another Maybe get a breeding pair. Uh, yep, still got him. <laughs> Just at the edge of the net. Okay. Haddock. Wait. Yeah, Haddock like... Is a fish? Yep. Like the, uh... <laughs> the character from Tintin, Captain Haddock. I, I really hope they do eventually make a sequel to that animated movie they made, because that was just beautifully made. Oh, it was. T I actually like Tintin. Both the series and the movies. That one has a death grip. It turns the surrounding in the surroundings in a burning hellscape. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a new. Uh, that's a new uh, blueprint. And what are Wait, you? What? Leafy Sea Dragon. Yeah, this, this new weapon here, a sticky bomb gun. Or a more, that... uh, right more of you were unable to mine? Yeah, because I've probably because I picked this thing up. 
which doesn't have the digging capability. So, let's see, can I go up and grab the knife again? Or does that not spawn when you swap your melee weapon? Uh, where did I even pick it up? Hmm. Okay, I guess that's one good reason to not pick up a new melee weapon, since it doesn't carry over the, well, the digging strength, or the mining strength. Yeah! You goofed. Hmm. Since there's ammo here, might as well use the ones that I have. Okay, yeah, we're going to catch a lot for uh, the sea farms, not the sea, for the fish farm with this. Okay. Oh, nice juicy targets. Okay, three, good amounts. No. Bit too early. Okay. And not going near that thing. But we are going to grab a bunch of these. We want to consume yep. flesh. So many in close proximity and I only got two. Okay, let me wait for them to gang up again a bit. There we go. Okay, these nets can hold a maximum of seven fish, but three is still good. I think I should remember something about Skavens. Pirate Skaven, if the... Mm. Whoa, a huge jellyfish. Mm. What was its name? Lion Mane or something? Anyway, it's a giant jellyfish in the glacial area. It must, it must make a nice photo. Let's take a pic. Okay, let's see. Capture with Narwhal. Okay. Zoom out some. There we go. Nice, that was a good shot. Ooh, uh, babe, you might want to move. <laughs> Okay, it's not interested in us. Probably good, because I'm pretty sure those uh, tentacles would be quite venomous. Or poisonous. Boop boy, you scared me. Even in such a cold place, there's still something for such a big creature to eat. The deep sea really is a mysterious place. Yeah, there is such a thing as deep sea gigantism, I think. Which is oh, basically... Yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure if it's a fully confirmed thing or oh, not. Yes. Yeah, a lot of things tend to grow very big on the water. Like as the pods. Okay, there's an opening here. There's a mirror there. Okay. I'm guessing the devs understood that this area was likely going to be quite dangerous, so they put those mirrors in where it's forced to retreat. Yeah. We could mine aquamarine with the knife, but not with this thing, dumb thing. Yeah. yeah, in future, don't switch out the knife. Yep. I would have thought if the fish was the, uh, the was about to play fetch. Okay, that's right, a dead end. About Skaven. All right. Now I remember. It wasn't Skaven pirates that got swallowed by the giant sea monster, the entire crew and the ship. Okay. They died. Then a vampire pirate, Captain. The Count Nautilus. Or Noctilus. I forgot which. Rick just wrecked the thing. Only to realize that uh, he also resurrected the undead Skavens when he was unaware they were inside it. So, he made a deal with them that you and my crew 
Uh, you get a uh, good share of loot. They agreed. I guess what they did. They betrayed him. Nope. They turned the damn undead sea monster into a ship. <laughs> okay. Uh, I see yeah. the mod on a bloody heck. As if a uh, normal escape and aren't bad enough. And also, since this is here, we can just chuck these and then we should get the knife back. I do just like that you just get random baseballs as a weapon. And yet, there we go, knife back. <laughs> okay, we can get the Aquamarine down here then, and then clean up that mirror. And actually, another thing on it a moment, it makes sense that we can't use, that we can't travel to these mirrors since we're, they're covered with frost. So they're not getting energy. Or whatever. So we can, uh, uh, yep. Once we stop, you know, once we relieve, they de they frost over again, so we can't travel to them, energy or not. And let's see. Sort by weights. Anything that isn't three star here. Only three star stuff. Okay, then we'll have to throw some stuff out. Uh, let's first get to the aquamarine, uh, aquamarine node. There it is down there. And the mirror should be to the left. I just realized we, we need to go talk to Bonshu as well. There we go. Okay. Now then. Up there. Up, come on, move down. Why is it refusing to move down? I'm not throwing out the Arctic octopus. Uh, quantity? Yeah. Let's... Okay, that's not enough. There we go. Okay, you didn't have to throw out too much. And yeah, there's the mirror. Our easy way out. Okay. A very what successful run, do, I'd say. Whatever you do, don't lick the mirror. Okay. Uh, and now I'm just going to check up on the harvest here. I forgot to do that. Yep, just get the narwhal over. That's not, not the narwhal, <laughs> the beluga. Uh, oh dear. Let's see. Cookie cutter sharks. Okay, defeat two of them. I'll take that. Is this one still needs to be removed. Him? Hmm? What is a beluga? Uh, I only know belugas from the whale we're currently <laughs> riding on. You answered the question correctly. Well done. It's a whale. Okay, it looks like these do grow at different rates. Because Makes we planted sense. all of these at the same time. But these are sprouts and these are young plants already. I'll leave this fallow for a moment. Just to see if things do change that quickly. Let's head in here and see if we can make anything with the stuff that we have. Or... Okay, is it... Okay, it's not if we have it, it's if we can afford it more. Okay. Um, okay, I'll definitely have to make a note then of what we need for what upgrade and such. Ooh. Okay, so that's a good reason to... That's what we need, or we're going to need the money for. So... Yeah, oh, we could do more those... at the casino or the arcade. Yeah. Holy, the deals mean we need to do the quest and casino more. For those prices. Yep. Okay, let's go tell Tenzin what we found. 
Okay. And then we'll be done with this dive. What are you doing here? The contraption built by our ancestors is difficult to operate. And it seems that something caused the contraption to malfunction. I know it's not right to get too involved in matters of ours, but please do help us. Yeah, you've gotten us plenty. We've gotten ourselves plenty involved already. Plus, the yeah, like they've said here, the earthquakes are not only your problem. Humans are suffering from them too. I will find out the cause. Thank you. May the blessings of King Long be with you. Hmm. Yamo told me the story. The divine in control room is malfunctioning, and that is causing the earthquakes. Yes. Yes, I need to operate three switches to enter the control room. I've already activated one of them. Well done. I am ashamed of our people for. I'm ashamed of our people having to rely on you in this matter. Please don't be. The earthquakes are a problem to us too. I remember something. It was written in one of the ancient books. After some workers mutated into Gadons due to engineer Dash's uh, Dash schemes, my ancestors created switches to access the control room and dispersed it to the glacial area. They created those switches to tighten the security. But they have turned into obstacles now denying access to the control room. It's still cold, but the heat coming from the ground is melting the ice. Maybe the control room is overheating, causing the water temperature to rise. Stabilize the device and the water temperature will return to normal. I know it's rather impolite of me, but please hurry before our, before our ancestral home is completely destroyed. There are two doors remaining. I will try locating them. Okay. Yeah, for a moment I thought he had something new to say. Listen to It's under glacier and it's overheating. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing the glacier was supposed to keep it cooled, but yeah, it's uh, it's working a bit. It's not doing enough at, anymore. You haven't found it yet. What did you search? I searched the whole village, but no luck. What's going on here now? What's going on, Ramo? Oh, Dave. I think the beluga has suddenly gone missing. Okay. If he's not in the village, he could have gone to the other side of the glacial passage through the open door. He's a very curious kind, you know. You didn't hide him, did you, human? I've yeah. Shut up, you two. Why would I? Okay. Alright, I will let you know if I find him. Thanks. Awang, Awang, what are you doing? Go find the blue gun. Awang and now Are they brothers or... Brothers or twins. Or oh, they just happen to have a very similar names. <laughs> and apparently we can still summon it. Or can we actually? Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice little detail. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the beluga. That's a manatee, not a beluga. It looks very slow. But I have no choice. I should ride it. Okay, nice detail game, nice detail. <laughs> uh, and it is indeed rather slow. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> and from the words of Christopher Columbus, I have seen mermaids, but they are not beautiful creatures. Okay, that's going to be a clip. Okay, there. Open it up so I can edit it after. Sticky bomb. Keeping Sticky you bomb. at that. I, yeah, I should have put that one. I should have put that one in the arcades. Okay. Another new depth max. A lot of new materials. And a lot of new row. Okay, not as much as I thought, but it's still just a chance. Oh, hello. Yep, a picture. Wow, a gel giant jellyfish. The tentacles look like a lion's mane. Did you hear something growling? Just kidding. You can't hear anything on the water. Well, you can hear a lot of things in the water. It's just that sound travels through water very well. So you just hear a lot of different things mixed together. I'll put your picture to good use. Okay, 800. Not 800, 900. That's a good amount. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, VIP D Day. It's. Hmm. Okay, we can't even really see if what is needed. That is a bit annoying. A, a preview of what would what, what is needed would be nice. Um. But yeah, we need giant Trevally fin. So I guess this dive, we're just going to take the tranquilizer gun and look for giant uh, Trevally's. Wait. I guess I see soon, but we see that the time thing, if it ain't time for a restaurant, or I'm counting the things from here. Yeah, that's just for the evening. We still have one dive. Oh, we do have one more dive, all right, all right. Okay, the marine cars, vampire squids, new seahorse. Yeah. Leafy Sea Dragon. A species that only lives in some parts of Australia, its body has grass-like fins making it easily camouflaged. It hides in the grass and feeds on small plankton. Okay. Wait, why was it in the glacier area? Uh, because they couldn't put it anywhere else. Uh, and that music again. Let's see, what new track? Enigmatic puzzle. Yeah, I, I am definitely putting the. I'm definitely adding the OST of this game to uh, my collection after this. After we're done with the game. Okay, for now. Harsh darts. Keep that on. Hmm. Are you sure? I'll keep the charm. Are you sure you're supposed to go to Anshu <laughs> and give you that? If I remember. Animation of you giving him a sack of the requested items. Yeah, but that's for when we need to make it for a quest, not for a VIP. We can still go take a chat with him. Hmm. Perhaps. <clears throat> yeah, food with a high taste score will increase the customer satisfaction. Never stop learning. Yeah. Oh. He's just going to take. Yeah, that stuff is just reserved. For uh, tonight. Okay. <laughs> okay. I must say that it is typically rather rare for a cat to only have one kitten, but it can happen. Ooh. I think I might have mentioned before that uh, female cats can likely be impregnated by different uh, males, which can cause how, how the amount of differentiation in a in the kitten's uh, phenotype, which is how they look. Uh, it can happen with humans too, actually. Hmm. Um, well, at the same know, time. But it has happened. Okay. For there has been moments where a uh, person gave birth uh, to one child one moment, then two, three months later, another child was born for the same mother. Again, okay, it's that's... rare. Yeah, that that would be that. Hmm. Yeah, that would be really rare because typically the womb seals shut unless there's um, the, the, unless at the, the same are... it, they are in. But, <clears throat> let me find my words for a moment while my throat does not try to choke me out. Uh, the way I could see that happening is if a mother, if two eggs are fertilized, but one for some reason doesn't progress as fast. Oh, no, no. No, it's more of a... It, this is wrong if you have sex with a pregnant woman. For there are gaps between during the pregnancy that you can make them pregnant again during pregnancy. Really, it's ready to cause... But you need to time it very, very precise for it to happen. Okay. So, yeah, it's not like making twins, it's just... Someone timed it very... just had that, that timing, basically. Thresher shark. Let's see. We need a parrot. We need the big head there. So we've only got one of those in the farm. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, let's take you on. Uh, 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 motherfucker, some speedy fuck. Oh, oh, come on, I should have counted. I don't know. Did they actually kill fish with the tails? But I forgot how powerful those tails are. I'm trying to remember. I think I, I'm sure if this is a false memory. Let's go. You can hear that they can break a person's hand and snap bones with the tail. Okay, where'd that parrot fish go? Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I got it. I got this. Ah, there it is. Hey, Polly, 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 Polly. Hey, Polly, 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 Polly. That's a cracker. Hmm. And now I realize the flaw in my idea. Because if we knock out giant Vervales, we we don't we don't have enough drone uh, visits to get them all out. We are actually we're just out. Okay. Well done. Yeah, at least that'd be a good reason to upgrade that, so we can get more. Okay. Take you, and you. Okay. But yeah, other than that, we can just have a relaxing, non-threatening swim down here. Okay. Nope, uh, hello. Uh, okay. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, uh. Come out. I started to develop a grudge against these Mako sharks. Give me this quick. Actually. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to go over us there, but somehow it just teleported down. I feel like of all fish, the Miku Shark is the one that has been closest to killing us the most. Yeah. As in, it has actually killed us at least once. Yeah, I mean, close many times otherwise. This makes it probably the current most dangerous animal we encounter in this game. The side of bosses. Klaus. Okay. Let me go get my stun gun back or tranquilizer. Oh no, my brain, seriously. What did you come up with? Santa Claus coming to town. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, it's too early for Christmas songs. <laughs> and of course, it made a parody of clouds. I hate my own brain at times. Like, I like I have a very good imagination, but that imagination can backfire. Yeah. Okay. Even you seem to agree Santa Claus song is a horrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes the horrible horrible ideas are the best ideas. It depends on the situation. There are some bad ideas that should never be done. Okay, that, that was a seahorse we didn't have before. Can I ride it? No. And that's out of ammo with that. Luckily, there's plenty more here. Uh, yeah, I think there are some fish down here that we don't have good breeding pairs of yet, so I should probably try to get a few of them. Net gun. Mm, that'll work, since we can't I... get uh, the giant frivales now. Now we're talking about seahorses, I just remember something that happened to us on Pixar when we played it. Oh? Yeah, we had oh, a problem with a giant seahorse there. Oh yeah, that, that thing that started just 
barraging us from the, the water side right next to yeah. our base. I think it was like you said, at least you can't get on land and chase us and shoot us. So we That's finally three, two, stay away one. from the beach. And after he said that, it ran up on the beach after him. Just to spite him. Yeah. Okay, if I get my aim correct. I think I was both laughing, but also almost panicking at the same time. Yeah. Okay, some of these sail-like fish, like this little guy here, I think we are lacking in those for the farm. Hmm. Again, if I could, if I could do a, a few dives without possible progress on events or such, I would just to fill up the farm some. But sadly, that can't be done. Yeah, kind of risky. Probably not so very good. We actually made the extra steam with David the Diver, since you want to play more David the Diver. Yeah, and we do need to do quite a bit to well, get upgrades done. Yeah. So I can see us doing extra ste week streams with David the Diver, since it's a long game to begin with, so... Yeah. Also, would nets work on these things? Uh, wait, what? On the jellyfish, I mean. What would work on jellyfish? This. Oh dear. But yeah. If it's a long game that we both enjoy, bonus streams is fine. Yeah. And also, I think I even said this in the... on Discord to you, that I will probably start laughing if you're still not done with David the Diver when Halloween comes around. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that fish just didn't know what to do and started flipping the hell out. I missed that. Yeah, the the one on the left something. just started flipping left and right rapidly. Yeah, I missed that. I missed that. I looked away for a foot I heard something. Yeah. Okay, there. Yeah, we can carry so many of these fish now since they're actually pretty lightweight. I'm going to avoid you. You bunch, though. Okay. White Trivali. It's the giant version that we need, but we can't catch those with the nets. We need drone uh, visits for those. Clone drone in danger, sir? Overrun drone. Yeah. Oops, up there. I misread that name. I misread that to painted crowbar. Okay, that's a new one. And I just completely missed all three of those. Get the jackass in the back. That reminds me, though. I've been playing Dark Tides again recently, and something that just remains funny to me every time is if... Uh, uh, for, uh, for a bit of context, Dark Tides has some enemy... has two kinds of enemies that... Uh, yeah, one of them is the Mutant, which is basically like a Left 4 Dead's charger, uh, but a lot louder, and you typically will hear them coming up every time because they're so freaking loud. And then there's also the Trapper, and I, the name kind of says it. They, they use net guns, and I just always find it infinitely hilarious if I dodge one of those things, uh, one of those coming for me, like the, the Mutant charging or the net getting fired only for it to hit the guy behind the other player behind me. <laughs> There's just something innately funny to that it, with me, for me. I, I think that is because it's a common movie trope and comic trope. Uh. Oh dear. Uh. Kaboo! Tiger shark. 
I just remember I need to do what what's called a casual your graphics things for it. I learned a few new terms for what a group of animals is called. Yeah. I think there was a term for manatees, but I forgot. I think I do remember what a group of uh, capybara is called. Oh? I think it was called meditation. <laughs> okay. This kind of one... makes sense. Yeah, capybara is the most chill species of a uh, rodent-ish creature on the planet. They are the very most giant guinea pigs. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to catch a few more fish and then just bail out. Hmm. If we had more drone visits. Oh. Bruce I remember took notice. something more. I remember something more now. A what group then? of hyenas are called a cackle. Yeah. <laughs> they should have called them a heckle. <laughs> I think I think what somebody is somebody else took that. Okay. Let's see a group of Frog cap eyes are a pickle, a prickle. Uh, I'm gonna have to find that video at some point. Okay, I was still watching about half an hour. Let's see. We're going to keep you and the rest. I will keep you and you, but the rest of you are going in the fish tank. Okay. Good haul. Okay, 27 from one of these? Okay. Oh, and then the new yeah. row? Big belly seahorse. Okay. I think that means it might be pregnant, or it a species I did not know about. I'm presuming it's a species. Okay. Yeah. Bunch of olive oil. Let's send them all out to go... Nope. To go after, uh, to go after Popeye again. Wait, and new wait. <laughs> a ninja and is that a colonel? <laughs> I, I don't think so. But let's see. Oh, hello. Oh, it became a sea turtle. Okay, growing up to a length of 1.8 meters with an average cell si length of one meters. This omnivorous turtle inhabits the tropical and subtropical waters of the sea. Okay. Uh, how do we progress from here, then? I think once you to turn that art off. Hmm. Now we can't feed it, we can't play with it, so I'm guessing... Uh, tomorrow it's going to reset with a new one. Hmm. Uh, okay, here's how we reset it. Okay. Okay. Then we have to wait for it to start developing again. And this time let's try going with the discipline to the maximum and see what we get from that. Because our first one turned out to be a lazy turtle. Hey, okay. they're hard working. And yeah, let's see. The biggest seahorse, it grows up to 18 to 35 centimeters. Its beautiful coloration and body give it a much visual, give it much visual appeal and popularity. Okay. Okay. And we got a boat color for that. Or no, not a boat color. Okay. Uh, yeah. Over to Bonchos. <clears throat> and let's see what we can serve. First, of course, though, <laughs> our challenger. 
And of course, we need to do the mini game to prepare the, you know, the dish. Hello, everyone. This is Yui from NDC Station. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, today is the day of the final clash in Challenge the Chef. Bancho, are you ready? Yes. How about you, Alex? Ready. My fingers are uncontrollably wiggling. It's probably not good for when you hold your implements. Excellent. Then let's begin Challenge the Chef now. I really like Yui. She's so well animated and happy. Yeah. <laughs> Bancho, the red dragon. And the blue tiger challenger. Another tiger? Yeah, just red team, blue team. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that wasn't too hard. Okay, roast the onion. Okay. Nope. Second half. Now, with my own cooking lately, or the, the rare case that I do, I've tried to make, I try to a new uh, cutting style. Uh, let's see. Oh. Well, basically, I try to cut things into. Oh. There we go. There. Yeah, before I've typically tried to uh, cut things into too small of chunks. Oop, better the fish and starch. Okay. I like how the, it does react to how you're moving things. Okay, three little fishies. Okay, deep fry the fish. <laughs> One of them is staring at us. <laughs> or was. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Really? Fish and chips. <laughs> yeah, there's no way we could have lost that since we did everything correct. Okay, he, he takes it better than the other guy. Six, 96 to 99. Okay. It, it, it better than like, lost them. Lost them, you won by one point more. Yeah. Deep fish tempura. <laughs> what? Alex's fish and chips lost? <laughs> what an upset. My fries are the best in the world. Yes, your fish and chips indeed tasted excellent. Incredible, actually. But what is the theme of this contest? The theme? It's fried dishes. Not quite right. The theme of this contest was Fry the Sea. Masterfully fried cod is good on its own, but that alone does not represent the sea. Ever bunch as this was? What kind of soy sauce did you use? Added chopped green laver and, laver and added it to normal soy sauce. As I expected. I liked your shark and squid combination, but the highlight was your soy sauce recipe. Soy sauce enriched with the flavor of the sea better represented the flavor and the taste of the sea. What an impressive flavor. Hmm. Okay, I, I might look into mixing uh, soy sauce with other things at some point as well then. Uh. Hmm. Your dish gave me a feeling of exploring the sea, from the coastal waters to the deep sea. That was a fabulous adventure. 
The texture of your fried dish was good as well, but the game changer was your soy sauce. Alas, my perfect fries were not enough to satisfy the judge. It was a close match. Let us hear what Banjo has to say. You need to be careful when making the soy sauce. That's... That's all that you're going to get. Thank you, Banjo. Your champion prefers action over words and we love it. And it's time to wrap up today's episode of Challenge the Chef. Today, Banjo won the contest. This is... Wait a moment. I'm pleased by today's contest and I would like to give him a piece of advice. You see, uh, you, I see your menu is expanding, but the drinks you offer stay the same, yes? Because I'm a chef, not a barkeep. You said the same thing before. Dining is a comprehensive experience. What do you pair up with your pasta? A glass of wine, a glass of cola, or just a glass of water? It will significantly change the dining experience. Your place cannot satisfy the various tastes of customers with a limited selection of drinks. This is my gift to you. It's a cocktail dispenser. Okay, we've already got someone who can deal with those. Mm -hmm. hmm? Cocktails? They don't go well with sushi, though. No, oh, please. Not every cocktail is sweet. Hmm. You can make interesting cocktails by using sake as a base. Okay, co sake cocktails. Huh. Like, I, I typically try to experiment a little bit with... But that's typically more with sodas that I mix them together. Or, oh, uh, you don't have... That's well. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Like it typically make it typically makes the uh, what would be the best description? A texture heavier. It it doesn't make it thicker or anything, but it, it makes, makes it, it feel heavier. Yes. So, yeah, something it, I also often do is you know those syrups you get in uh, cans that you need to add water to or you're supposed to add water to. Hmm? Oh yeah, that's what you people call the call those saft. Okay. You can't put a syrup. What the heck? Yeah, not not like syrup from a uh, tree's sap and such, but uh, yeah, the kind that you're supposed to add water to. Uh, what I've been typically doing is to not use water, but uh, carbonated stuff like Seven Up or Sprite. Oh, oh I have done that in the past. Well, of course, you are not in charge of drinks. That hungry-looking guy. Hey, yes, you. Mm. Me? <laughs> I, I will leave this cocktail dispenser here. You find out how best to use it. Oh, a gift from Vincent. A cocktail dispenser. Bonso Sisi will offer more menu items soon. And we can't wait to see what will be added to its menu. That's see you next time. This is Reporter <laughs> Yui. Okay. Someone's not happy, but at least he's not being threatening. Mm. <coughs> cocktails. This dispenser is designed to serve three different cocktails at the same time. Well, I'm not familiar with cocktails, but come to think of it... This is like a drink version of oma uh, omakase. What's that? Yeah, that makes sense. It's our job to serve the drinks customers want. Why don't we make more money by adding cocktails to the menu? Okay. 50 likes. And make cocktails. Wait, what? Hmm? We all we have already like only 15 minutes left. Yeah, fi yeah, the time time flies when we're playing this game, huh? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. From <laughs> now on, customers will begin to order cocktails. Serve cocktails as requested in the right order. Okay. Uh, luckily, oh, we no. have someone to do that for us already. <laughs> yeah, Raptor okay. was it? Oh, 80 we get for it. Yeah, Raptor can serve those. Uh, let's see. I'm can... so glad we got Raptor so early on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. we can do a few yep. Let's do 18 servings of that. Um yeah, again I'm going to aim for 30 dishes on the plate or on the menu. Uh we can safely enhance that. Right, we uh, can save it. And it's not going to enhance it again. Why we are out of right. What do you expect them to do? Snailfish escargo? Okay. <laughs> Kinda of glad they didn't. Let's see, that's 30. Mm. 
Three, three, yeah. Okay, enhance that. And then we put, let's see, 30, 35. Two of these down, and that should be more than plenty. Yeah, we're, this is going to be a big a, a big uh, day. Uh, research. Oh, hello. Plotosid pie. A carefully prepared plotosid minced onion are baked to make this pie rich pie. The dish looks like a you know, fish staring into the night skies. Uh, okay. Pie. Pelican eel jelly. Smoked Atlantic mackerel scramble. And comer sandwich. Okay. Deep fried comer and painted comer placed between slices of plain bread. The egg gives it. Hmm? There's a B in the name. Comer. What, what, what did I say? Comer. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's research gray. that one. Oh, wait, oh, it's turning gray. <clears throat> Here we go. Not enough flame to research anything else. Now let's check out the staff. Let's see. Itsuki, you... Okay, you serve drinks, and you have really high appeal. Okay. Uh, Wait, hold on. That's your... something else I knew about her that looks bad. Oh, Serving. weird. Look hmm? at her cost and her other skins. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Four coins only? And... Okay. Okay, she just... She just really expands exponentially, huh? Okay, okay, just her level one is horrible. So it's just only good what you stop I wish I shall not fail my mission, but what? Uh why do I get um, the feeling we're <laughs> we're we're hiring someone who is meant to assassinate someone here, huh? <laughs> okay. Um, you are a mixed cook and server, but you don't have anything actually special going on, so no thank you. Yusuke. Okay, yeah, ingredient prep and cooking plus. Nothing too interesting either. Drain! <laughs> That's the Drake, the YouTuber Drake asked! <laughs> okay, I had a feeling he'd be a, 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 a guest character, I'll say. And this confirms that so would these all YouTubers, including yeah. Raptor. <laughs> okay. Cleaning oh, and cocktail back. serving. Oh no. Look at the picture level. <laughs> six, six, six. Okay. Sadly, none of you really have skills that I'm interesting in, 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 interested in. Hmm. Uh, why? Why have... Okay. There's four. There's five spaces in the applicants list, but these will these will only attract up to four people at once. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, we Normally a good badge, but not for what we want at the moment. Let's see. Anyone that we'd want to hire would be would should be able to serve cocktails. The wasabi we can do ourselves by just parking next to it. Uh, unless El Nino can also serve drinks or serve cocktails since he's a drink server mas serving master. Which would mean that we don't need someone who can serve cocktails. Hmm. So we might need them both uh, to help out. Okay, Itsuki. Yeah, you, your skills jump big with each training, it seems. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I know what, what, what she's about. Is she, but she also a very fast learner. Yeah. Train Nino a bit. Uh, where, where'd you go? Train you a bit. Okay. 
Serve drink. Okay. Um, that should be enough, I think. So, here we go. Let's make some money. Can a good way to end the stream in a way? I'll take this one. Tempura is going out. Okay. Pardon. Yeah, it it was advised. To, I I read it was advised to tap with it, the serving beer instead of holding it down. And okay, Raptor is doing that. Uh, okay, that was a lot less than twenty percent, but okay, I'll take it. Oop. And that was Raptor doing the wasabi. Okay. Hmm. Okay, good day. And, oh, we almost ran out. We almost ran out. Let's see, 10, 20, 36. 16, 36 customers today. Yeah, we're going to need to aim at 40 or maybe even 45 dishes now. Yep, 36 customers. And a new best, 21,000. Okay, yeah. Uh, holy mackerel! Holy crab! Yeah, we didn't serve mackerel today. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hmm? Some kind of mail is here. So we check it. Let's see the cucumbers. Okay. <laughs> Hello, folks. We are a group of people who are just addicted to cucumber. We can, uh, you can call and uh, simply call us the cucumber holics. If you see anyone picking cucumber out of their foods, tell them they need to learn how to appreciate the true taste of cucumber. We will host a cucumber party in three days to educate people on cucumber's great taste. They're delicious and they're good for your skin. Any store owners who serve dishes containing cucumber may participate in the cooking contest. Remember, cucumber is green love. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The cucumber holics? Mm. Well, not everyone loves cucumber. In fact, I don't like cucumber either. I can't stand the smell. Also, cats can't stand them, or at least they can. They don't like it when you put one down beside them without their notice, because when they look and they see it, they think it's a snake because of split-second reactions and instincts and such. There are many recipes that use fr as cucumber. Anyway, they're hosting an event around here. I need to be prepared to boost revenue that day. Okay. By the way, have I seen any cucumber at the farm? Mm -hmm. I should go ask Otto. Hey, hold on. Cucumber smell? Hmm. Like, like, I do think they do have a scent, but it's not really that strong. I can't really tell really if they have a scent or not. I think the only thing you notice is our smell is like... But you hold it up to your nose, really. Like, you need to put it against your nose to smell it. Okay. So... Let's keep you fans. As long as no one puts a cucumber against his nose, he should be fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm... I've been uh, a bit neutral on cucumber. It's a good... It's a good uh, snack food, at the absolute least. Also, since it has a lot of water in it. Yeah. Um, I'm okay yeah. with cucumbers. I just don't like it in, in most of my food. I prefer to eat it on the side. Yeah, it's, it, because it has a lot of fluid in it, it can... Uh, yeah, water down things. But I, I prefer yeah. them pickled anyways. Into pickles. <laughs> yeah, I have been able to eat pickles on... Uh, 
on liver pace. God damn, how do I want some big goals? Damn you, Helion. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cookstra. Oh, I did not expect to see that. You know the restaurant featured in Challenge the Chef? I've been there. <laughs> Sake cocktails go so well with sushi. And that's all the new ones. Okay. Uh, before, yeah, we still have a few minutes, so let's let's do our morning uh, chores. Yeah, and do we have enough money to do some upgrades on our gear? We should. May need to yeah. even. <laughs> okay, See? we need to find more cat food. Okay, time for the farms. Okay, some eggs. Uh, yeah, I should upgrade uh, my equipment some. Uh, also get a bunch more chickens for recipes. Do you have something to say? Mm -hmm. Otto, can you grow cucumbers in your patches? Um. Cucumber? Why would anyone want to grow something that tastes that horrible? <laughs> Apparently nobody here likes cucumbers. Cucumber does not taste horrible, it has a fresh aftertaste. Uh, I don't understand, it's neither nutritious nor delicious. Uh, I do have some cucumber seeds though. If you really want, want them, I will add them to the list. <laughs> okay. Uh, might as well go full out with these then. And we could actually notice the rice patty. Oh, okay, I I misremembered or misread. Okay, we can get another field. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll slightly expand the vegetable field uh, farm by tomorrow morning. Okay. Oh, I don't want to. I think I told this around the fact before, but original cucumber what was not edible. No. It was poisonous. Okay. So um, they only reason turned a ball. Yes, they were a ball. They turned it from a ball into a. Uh, what would you call it? The shape of a cucumber. A rod? Cylinder? Two? Cylinder, yeah. Yeah, cylinder. An edible cylinder. For when it was in a ball form, it could kill you. Or make you very sick. Hmm, pardon? Uh, let's Even see, we can get another salvage drone run for 12k, leaving us with 6, which would not be enough to upgrade the cold resistance suits. Um, yeah, I, I think we shelf progress on story for a bit to improve our stuff with this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, at least the main story for we need to improve a lot of things. Let's just get a bunch of chickens. What, what the, what? Hmm? Did you just... What? <laughs> you just used our hard earned money on chickens? <laughs> yeah, we need the eggs for good recipes and such. So they yeah, will, but... <laughs> they will pay us back. Plus, we could sell a bunch of fish here. True, but still, if you can understand my shock and horror here. Yeah, actually, let's see how much we can get if we sell fish instead of sending them to the kitchen. So we keep two pairs. Okay. That was uh, eighty, but that, that, that's for the tang, though. Yeah, these are small stuff. Uh, not the kitchen. 60. Yeah, these are already easy fish, so we won't get too much out of them. But it will stack up with how many there just are. Early. And just another hundred there. How okay. will those the other fish sell for? Like the ones hmm. of higher rank? We'll see in a second when we get to them. I keep pressing send the kitchen out of habits. It's 21 for that. Some of these. Yep. String timer. We can keep going a bit more. Some shrimp. 
Okay, that's starting to get something big. I'm surprised. I have... 80. I guess I was able to properly snooze this morning, so even though I woke up a bit too early again. Since, yeah. Unlike yesterday, I'm not falling asleep. There. There. Okay, we need more shark. Oh, okay, ornate wrasse we need. And jello back. Okay. We need live samples of those for breeding. Okay. And yeah, now we've got 2,000 again. Which means we should... Actually, I, actually we got all the, the chickens that we could get, I believe. So there's no need to buy any more. Okay. 216. There. I'm guessing sharks would sell for quite a lot. My Trevale. 20 of these, okay. 192. 130. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, okay, one thing I'm going to do right away is to expand that pad. There. Last, when, we, when we upgraded the room last time, they started breeding like absolute mad, so I'm hoping that will increase the amount that they breed as well. Okay, comb. All of those. One of those for 350. Yeah, on their own, each of these don't really sell for that much, but with the amount that we're getting them, it is stacking up. There are 500. 20 280 there yeah, let's see how much would one of these sell for 155 okay I was from the game of here the seagulls <laughs> your arch and enemies uh, at your door again I thought it was but no it was from the game my, these we do door. Sense to the kitchen since they're new. And there. Okay. <clears throat> Just some barrel eyes. There. Yeah, we should grab more of those. Okay. Bunch of mores. How much do we eat? Okay, 190. Actually, that's the. Okay, 85. Hmm. Let's send you to the kitchen. There we go. Three more of these paths to unlock. Yep. <laughs> Hello there, Tatum. <laughs> we have a command for that, but we're going to end the stream soon, anyways. Hello there, uh, yeah. Tatum. Uh, let's see. Anything else we can do before? A bit of a long load. Let's see. Uh, talk to Boncho. Okay, might as well go do that. We also need to find a missing beluga. Where the hell could that have gone? Uh, also, just again, just... <laughs> picking manatees showing up instead. Uh, again, this game just... Uh... Bancho, do you have recipes that use cu uh, cucumbers? Hmm. Well, I personally don't like cucumbers. There's nobody here except for Dave who likes cucumbers. Or tolerates them. But a chef should be able to deal with any food ingredient given. I know a few recipes. Oh, nice. There will be an event hosted by the cucumbers and not far from here. That is a strange name for a community. Well, I will prepare several cucumber dishes. Add the dishes to the menu when you have the ingredients ready. Okay, pickled vegetables, deep fried vegetables, and <laughs> skewer it's cucumber. Baked cucumber on a stick. Okay, do we need to research those? Yes, we do. Oh, no. Those are the ones we added. These are just newly revealed to us. Let's see. Sea toad and cucumber. Great spider crab and cucumber. Trevale sandwich. Okay, that's uh, placed between the big eye Trevale, yellow fin jack, generally cut and mixed. I don't know if we have those. And then we have seasoned Waptia Buildenensis. Okay. 
That uh, helps with immune shafts. Nope. Uh, let's see. Zara Bianca, hey, uh, how are you doing? Do doing well, and you? Doing well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> nice of you to show up, but we are about to raid someone. Just finishing up on some small bits with the game here. But, uh, if, if you, uh, this is Dave the Diver, in case you may not know. And we're pretty far into this game. We are on chapter 6. Uh, let's see, Tatum, just gonna start my stream soon. Okay, but we, we, might join, we might be able to raid onto you, Tatum, if you're quick enough with that. For now, let's head back to base. Uh, let's see. Do you stream? Hmm? Oh, sorry, one. I was about to read it out as well. Do you stream daily, basic? Uh, not really. I typically stream on Tuesdays, Thursday, and on the weekend. It's just that, well, I like this game a lot, and I just want to stream it more. Plus, I, I just wanted to do an extra stream. So, yeah. Every now and then, I just do an extra stream. Sometimes on Wednesday, I do a multiplayer stream if the rest of the group I have for that are up for it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah. Uh, thank you, you for course. showing up. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I have to disappoint you by heading off. But yeah, we are streaming again tomorrow, though. Yeah. Also, uh, this game, since it's our new main uh, main week game to stream, so we do a save, and then we return to title, and then we head on over here. Okay. And then we raid Pink Little Tomato. Tomato. <laughs> From one vegetable to another, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Seriously. <laughs> okay. Now, before we end the stream, we are going to look for someone to raid. So let me change the screen share for Drakir. Let's see. Who are online? A decent amount of people. We have I'm Nice, who is streaming Pikmin 4, but we rated them last time, I believe. Uh, let's see, your VTuber model looks so pretty. Thank you for that. Uh, as, can I, would you prefer me uh, to call you Zara or Bianca? Okay. And Tatum's about to start. Okay, we can wait on a bit then for a bit, but just for, just for the usual sake, let's go through the list. We have I'm Nice with Pikmin 4 which I actually bought earlier today because I want to play that on my own. Uh, not sure about streaming it, maybe on the second playthrough. Uh, we have the Sleeping Foxy, who is playing Jigsaw Puzzle. Let me take a peek at that. Everything is muted, so I won't be stealing audio. Hmm. Uh, let's see, paint charades. Okay, it's lit wait, is this a multiplayer? Jigsaw puzzle game of sorts? Okay. Uh, I don't remember... Hmm. It, it must have been quite a while since they last streamed or something, or at least since I've seen them stream. Uh, let's see. By the way, where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands, actually. And I'm from Sweden. Uh, let's see. Shubbers the Moon Seal, they really seem to be on every time that we're on, huh? Uh, Shubbers is still streaming Dark Souls. The Digital Hazard is streaming Front Mission 3. Okay. That, hmm. Okay, this doesn't look familiar at all to me. Uh, Doug, uh, good, Douglas McDog is doing arts. I'm a flanker is playing Warzone. Shell of Valkyrie is streaming Pokemon Ruby Sapphire. Now, the original version. Okay. I, I have to say, I really like the third generation of Pokemon. Uh... Pokemon Emerald is probably my favorite of the mainline Pokemon games. Uh, let's see, Zara. Uh, I'm from the UK. Okay. And, and Tatum has started. Okay. Just for the sake of it, we're going to, through the rest of the line, and then we'll just wait on uh, to you, Tatum. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you for the Z uh, follow, Zaria. <clears throat> thank uh, you. Uh, I, I was thank actually you very in... much. I was actually in London uh, recently for a short vacation that got extended by an extra half day because of a freaking uh, cancelled late flight. So yeah, something learned, well, two things learned, never fly with EasyJet. Second, never, <laughs> never take a late or night flight because if it get cancelled, you're stuck. <clears throat> okay. 
Uh, let's see, by the way, do you like art? Uh, I, I already have someone uh, making art for me, or rather currently working on art for me, uh, Zarya, or Zara. So, uh, yeah, if you're, if you're to offer your services for, uh, yeah, as an artist or such, I'm going to have to decline, sorry. Uh, okay, moving on. Kikoska is playing Shadows of Doubt. I, I played a demo of that. And it's kind of got busted. This is basically uh, a procedurally generated, not procedurally generated, it's a randomly generated uh, immersive sim, which if it, when, and does, when it does work, it is supposed to be really, really good. If it works you know, correctly. Because, well, with random generation, there's just also a random chance of everything going wrong. Uh, Roko is streaming Dark Souls 2. Alex Jordan VO is streaming Elder Gate 3. And yeah, there we have Tatum, who had just started with Assassin's Creed Revelations. So, let's copy the name. Head to our place. And raid to them. So, raid, paste. And yeah, before we do that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Zara. Thank you, Tatum. And I see you. I see you uh, lurking there, Lance and Sensei, <laughs> lurking buddies. And as always, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining upon this madness. Yeah. So yeah, tomorrow I have a job interview. Hopefully that'll go correct. And in the evening, whether it will go correct or not, we will be streaming more Dave the Diver. Uh. Ta -ta -ta. Uh, yeah, again, Zara, sorry, but I already have someone, you know, to doing art for me. Uh, but yeah, thank you for the offer, and good luck with others. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Uh, my Discord is down, uh, it can be found below. But for now, let's start up that raid, and yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for zombie seagulls. <laughs> and uh, bloody narwhals. Narwhals, narwhals, bloody... Oh, bloody, I, I butchered that song badly. <laughs> the new <Nudrix> bomb. <laughs>